What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode one of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. Uh, as you guys can see, I have here Pokemon Moon. Oh, you can't really see it because of the light and the shininess, but there it is, Pokemon Moon. I haven't even opened it yet, so that's how blind we're going with this. So you guys get to watch me open it on camera, unless this ends up taking too long, in which case I'm probably going to cut it or... So bad at opening the plastic. Ah, I love that new game smell though. I imagine that rustling plastic was like the loudest thing on the planet. Let's see what we got. Ah, smell that fresh. <laughs> smell that fresh goodness. Okay. Boom. It's time to replace the old school. No, do not change theme. I'm not trying to. I'm not about that right now. Look at this trade we got going on here. Ah, uh, whoop. You go away, Alpha Sapphire. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Pokemon Moon. Oh my god. So it's uh, it's 1240. Luckily, I drank an energy drink earlier. And I don't drink coffee, really. So energy drinks, uh, like, hyper amp me. And I took a nap from 7 to 745 or so. So... Uh, oh, hell yeah. Preparing to load data. Look at these graphics. Not even bad. I feel like they could have just taken my, uh, in my console settings and assumed, or presumed that's what I wanted. <gasps> I have a message from Alola Region's own Professor Kukui. Kukui? I might want to look up how that's pronounced so I don't pronounce it wrong the entire time. Whoa! This guy's a professor? I'm worried this is louder than my voice, so I'm going to have to, in editing, figure out what's right. I'm going to go with kind of quiet. I, I think just the right amount of in-game audio. Hang on, just give me a sec. He's adjusting his... He's doing one of these. I got you, Kukui. Hey there, good evening. <gasps> he knows it's evening? <laughs> so the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands and two giant clouds. Is this, I'm assuming this isn't like a live feed, this is like a map. So they just got these giant clouds. I'm assuming there's like DLC content under there, there's gotta be. Made up of several islands. This could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, see, I have a bone to pick with this. He's saying nothing but rare Pokemon then they're common Pokemon, right? If they're nothing but rare ones, that's that's all they got? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I gotta read this. We gotta keep going. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. Show me one then. <gasps> Who are you? That's gotta be one of the like new normal types. He's got like ears like Baneri, but like the body of Lillipup, I guess. You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them, if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rock Rough, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Whoa, killer wave, Kakui. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So what photo should we use for your trainer passport? Oh, okay, I get to pick the... I get to pick me. What do I look like? Okay. Ooh. These are some, uh, these are some very effeminate gentlemen. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm gonna go with the ambiguous ethnicity. I like that. Alright. I'll let you spell out your name for me. Well, what is my name? You know what I mean? Like, that's deep. That's like the question. Done. My, the brightness right now is killing me, but it's so dark in here that if I, yes, I do go by Geo. Yes, I do. Gym Leader Geo, everybody, in case you ain't heard. 10 4, good buddy. Okay, that's like cop speed. I'll let everybody out here know that you're on your way. Geo, whoa, more. There's a bird now, too. Yeah, that name hits you like a thunderbolt. <laughs> What does that even mean? Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. 
Is he now? Is he saying that like I'm actually his cousin? Because I could be in game. I could be his actual cousin. Geo, come help me with the boxes. I'm assuming that's mom. That's mama, bruh. What's going on here? What is that a picture of? The Pokemon League? Ooh. Ooh. What is that? You, stop! Okay, who's the bad guy and who's- She's got a nice hat on. And she's- and Those guys look kind of sinister. Look at that angry face. That's why- Like, bearing teeth. Turn- Jump over the fence. What are you running on the path for? And why did they stop running as soon as she stopped running? If they were trying to catch her, shouldn't they be running right now? They're so sure of themselves. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Alright. I love how they still use the old school Game Freak font. Like it's, uh, like it's still 1997. Three months later... Okay, that is a really cool island. Also, the graphics are kind of amazing on this. 3DS has come a long way. Rockruff! I hope Rockruff becomes a rock type Pokemon. Because if it's just a normal Pokemon but it's called Rockruff, that's kind of. You know what I mean? Is that Mama Bruh? Mama Bruh. Ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get Geo for me, would you? Meows. That's right. <laughs> Meows. I gotta work on my voices a little bit here. I got a little Pikachu doll there. A little Ditto thing. He's got a Wii U there. It's not plugged in. It's just chilling on the floor. But I'm asleep, of course. On top of the covers. Hit him with the payday, Meowth. Wake me up. Oh, wait, do I have to actually move my... There we go, yeah. I gotta... Okay, I gotta actually play the game now. Here we go. So, my character looks a lot older than normal characters in the Pokemon series. So, Meowth has to say Marau to me. That seems pretty important. Um, let's, uh, let's head on down. Where's Mama Bruh? I gotta find Mama Bruh. She was out on the balcony. There you go. So I'm almost as tall as she is. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So Geo, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Mama Bruh! <laughs> of course. That's right. I wanna hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Exclamation mark? Was that the doorbell? That's gotta be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in, Geo? So we're expecting company already? I wonder if Mama Bra and Kukui are like an I Look at how he walks! So ripped, like... Like he's got traps for dead and his shirt's off, like walking into this house, like... Hey there, Geo. Name's Kikui. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after this long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still nighttime out here, yeah. Hmm. 
Professor Kikui, yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. <laughs> Tell me he did not just call her Mom. Okay, I just let myself in. Oh, you call me Kikui, would you? Welcome to Alola. See, okay, I called him Kikui because I thought I was being, you know, hella chill, but he's actually introducing himself as Kikui. Like, Professor Oak was like, you can call me the Pokemon Professor, which is even longer than his actual name, which was Professor Oak. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle those indigo gym leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know? I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. <laughs> I was supposed to be visiting their research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Geo. Let's get a move on to next town over, cousin. Next time for you to meet some, meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon. Yeah, a Pokemon. I really, I'm more curious about the Kahuna actually, but I feel like he would have just repeated the. Yeah, sure. The Kahuna who lives in Iki Town is always have to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon. Yeah. But don't try taking on the, Kahu <laughs> the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon? Then those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Hurry and get ready, Geo. Your bag and hat and things are still in boxes in your room, I think. And don't you leave a copy of Adventure Rules on the desk there, too? Ooh. Oh, wait, no, that's Kahuna. <laughs> Ooh, I bet you got a styling hat that'll match mine, yeah? Okay, we're going white hat this game. Hey, okay, so honestly, the graphics are so, like seriously blowing me away. Checked out the moving boxes. You pulled out your bag and hat. Okay, very cool. Show me the hat. Doesn't really match his. I thought he was going to go white hat. Black Hat's cool, too. The brim matches his shirt. This little Geo kid's got some style, but, I mean... You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Well, that's a styling hat, cousin. Meowth likes it, too. I'm feeling this Meowth. I'm going to steal it from my mom. Mama bruh. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's go to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the Island Kahuna. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling like the first episode here is going to end as soon as we get uh, our first Pokemon. Pokemon, uh, Pokemon games aren't really known for heavy dialogue, but I'm already feeling a little burned out by it. It's very basic, but I don't really have a map or anything. So let's kind of see. Hey, now, the heat getting to you. I said we, I say we go this way. I mean, the heat getting to me. You didn't tell me which way to go. You just said to go to Iki Town. I don't know where Iki Town is. I'm brand new, Kakui. I don't know this area. Now this is more like it, yeah. Welcome to Paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together, too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah? As long as you got a Pokemon helping you out there. That's where you gotta get you to the Kahuna. <laughs> First, we're off to Iki Town. Come on, it's not far if we cut up here. I'm just gonna follow where they tell me to go. I don't wanna, like, cut to the side or do any weird stuff. Although there is a... There's kind of like a side. This is like a jump back down kind of area. See, the graphics are too good. I'm worried that there's gonna, I'm gonna miss things. The power of science is amazing. A simple press of a button can trade a Pokemon or battle with the people around you. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, honestly, this is, the graphics are so good. I feel like you can miss a lot in this. I think they're gonna actually have hidden, like secret areas. More like other more complex RPGs. So, Geo, you're loving Alola already, yeah? That's pretty good. How negative, I guess. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier I'll be. Hmm, he lives vicariously. Oh, yeah, look here. Looks like an excited Alola trainer's come to us. Professor Kakui, you gotta recommend another Pokemon move for me sometime, please? 
Why, you already know which moves you want to use, yeah? Come find me next time your Pokemon learns a move and then I'll battle you. Damn. This professor is savage. So you know what? Maybe I'll cut <laughs> maybe I'll cut this episode right before I pick my first Pokemon. And also just be a nice little intro. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you could dive into that tall grass here, yeah. To try and catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. Killer wave, bruh. That guy's got a little snake, and that one's got like a meowth, but it's gray. I wonder if they have like is that a sh shiny meowth isn't gray. Then trainers go up one another. Wait. Then trainers go up against one another in the battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, young goose. Hiss. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon with you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's move along. Icky Town's right over there. These towns are super close to each other. See, here's a question. How come we're always rural kids? We never start in like a big city, you know? I guess that'd be a lot for a game. And plus, no one wants to hear about like the story. You started from the bottom, just a rich kid living in the big old city and then you aspire to be the Pokemon. It's, everyone wants to hear that Cinderella story. Like, kid came from nowhere population four and we're here this right here is Iki town two big trees giant hole ominous okay my friend <laughs> I've been texting my buddy Stevie um, I'll have a surprise for you guys later on in a later episode but uh, my uh, my friend Stevie was worried he wasn't gonna get the game, but he just texted me, got it, so we're good. But Mr. Phone, you absolutely must shut up now, because if you interrupt me again. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us safe and happy, see? Question mark? Huh? What's going on over there? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Maybe they're all back there on the Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah? Geo, do me a solid. Go find the Island Kahuna. I'll wait here to make sure we don't miss each other. The Island Kahuna? Can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. Damn you, Kakui. You're not helping me. The place where we give thanks to Pokemon. See, I feel like this is too obvious. These are just two, like, super close houses. All these people are probably like, I love Pokemon, so I'm not going to talk to them in the interest of time, really. And they might give me a Pokeball or something like that, but I can always come back if I miss an important item. Yeah, they just wanted me to go straight forward. I knew it. That's that girl that teleported out there, so I don't want to spoil the story by acting like I don't know who that is, but she's going to be a pretty key character, I can tell. Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. Who are you talking to? Did she kidnap a small child and put it in that bag? Are you... What mysterious creatures. Pokemon sometimes leap right out of the grass to help people in trouble. Did you know? Honestly, can't tell you that I did know that. This looks like a little Pokemon battle point. Got a little statue here. And uh, maybe you're a Kahuna. Kahuna Hala is the strongest Pokemon trainer in all of Melee Melee. But I guess he must be off helping someone. Ah, I see. So he is in that dark area. You're going to tell me something about the dark area too on sunny days like this? I just like to wander around following the wind, don't you? Okay, no, I'm not so great at following the wind. I could have read that sign. That might have told me where I'm going. But this is the Mahalo Trail. Mahalo means hello. Um... Or does it mean thank you? Aloha means hello. Mahalo means thank you. Yeah. This is the thank you trail. So we caught up to this girl with the incredibly skinny legs. You can't get out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Hmm. 
I mean, my vision's pretty great. I was able to see you, so I'm gonna get her in trouble. I'm gonna tattletale. If there's a tattletale option, even if it looks like the negative one, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so now she's running again. She's like stomping her feet. <gasps> what? What is that? <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> that is the cutest thing. Oh, Spiros! Dude, okay, so this game is hella throwback. They're talking about Kanto region. They're talking about the Indigo gym, or the Indigo uh, Pokemon gym leaders. We're seeing Spearows or bad guys attacking friendly looking Pokemon. I'm just gonna check and have a look, right? I'm not gonna get any items. I know I have my bag, but I shouldn't be looking around so much. She looks terrified. Hi. Uh, what's wrong? Help. Save Nebby. Nebby like a nebula. Get it, guys? Nebulas are like the ominous cloud cover and gaseous uh, elements of the uh, of uh, forming star. Pew! I'm going to save you, Nebby. The Spiro are attacking it, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs, they feel like they might give out. I feel really bad for this girl. I don't have a Pokemon, so if you happen to have one in that bag, or if I could shoo them off. Ooh. I ain't afraid of no dusky bridge. See, now that would be the greatest $40 ever spent if the bridge just broke and I died, and this game is permadeath. Sparrow! Choo -choo 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 -choo. Oh snap, permadeath. I called it. What? What is that thing? Oh my god, that is an awesome looking Pokemon. That's like a islandy version of like a Mega Gallade or something. Okay, that is the coolest thing I've seen in so long. goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. I couldn't even help you in return. Pew! <laughs> um, can I have Nebby, please? What? What is that? Pew, pew! A sparkling stone feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful for you helping us out of that dangerous spot. Are you the Kahuna? I think this stone must belong to you. She didn't really answer the question, but... Sparkling stone. In the past, that was a mega Pidgeotite. No, just Pidgeotite. And you had to take it to the, uh... Rustboro place. You open a key items pocket, put the stock on the stone away. Please don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It, it's a secret, okay? Come on into the bag, Nebby. Pew! <laughs> Nebby went into the bag. She's, you know... Didn't just casually walk out of there like she wasn't recently just chased by some humans and attacked by Spiro. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Alright, we'll just walk her back. That bridge is completely broken. She nods at us. No words exchanged. Don't really need to. So this is a nice little opening story arc. I think once we uh, once we get her back to town, there we go. We got her back to town, and that's Kukui. Hey, Geo! Looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant. Oh yeah. Looks like you already met. But just in case, this is my assistant. Oh um, yeah. You can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is Geo. He just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're 
also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our guardian chosen one is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon used in all of Alola, yeah! Big ass shirt. You know that's a Kahuna. Big old belt. Sweet ass mustache. Have I missed something? Nah. Where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Where there is a problem on this island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying around. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Sparrow on the plank bridge, and this boy helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall into the ravine. And that's when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Whoa! That's something you don't hear every day. Oh, I thought it said to protect us. Or Top Coco is a rather fickle creature. Oh no! Damn it! This isn't. Guys, I blew it. This is Hollow that's talking. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy. I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I could entrust this brave and kind boy with a young Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. <laughs> the starters! Okay, so if you watched my prologue video, you know this is stuff that I did unfortunately have spoiled to me. I was able to keep spoiler free for most part. But I do know Rowlet, Litten, and Pop Poplio. Here's the grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. Well, that looks like a bird to me, so I'm going to call that a flying. Cool! Next up is the fire-type Pokemon, Litten. Mmm, wow! Angry cat, though. And the last is the water-type Pokemon, Poplio. Bark! <laughs> Ah, okay, Rowlet is cute AF, cute AF, but I'm going to cut the episode here and leave you guys in suspense, and uh, you guys are going to see in the next episode which starter I end up choosing. So that's going to be the end of episode one. Tune in next time, and uh, we'll go through a little bit more of the starter area and uh, kind of see what's going with our brand new Pokemon. Find out on the next episode. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.